guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I got all of the Evo 10 Brembo calipers prepped up for paint. Getting all of that brake dust and sanding these things down took quite a few hours. A few videos ago, I finished up painting the wheels. They turned out really, really nice. Now that the wheels are painted, the calipers are the last thing to paint before all of this can go back on the car. I've also got to do a little bit of welding down here. Definitely a lot to get done. I am super excited to get paint on these things. Stay tuned. Here are the Brembo calipers off the Evo 10. If you didn't see the last video, they are all ready to go for paint. Unlike the wheels, however, when I painted them, they still had the tires on them so I could just sit them on the parts holder here and paint them like that. I've seen people use hooks to hang these things, but I don't really have anything to hang them from. And then if I were to just hang them from the parts holder, they'd be way down here, which I could do that, but it would be hard to get the underside of it. What I'm going to attempt to do here is I've got some wheel bolts. They're lug bolts made for like Audis or BMWs. If I were to just buy regular bolts instead of this kit that I got off of Amazon, it would have cost me a lot of money. I believe that a 10 pack of these 14 millimeter by one and a half thread pitch was only around 15 bucks. And then I also picked up a matching set of 12 millimeter by one and a half thread pitch for the rear calipers. What I have here is what I had left over from a dog bed. It was a frame for it. It's just a metal rod. Building supplies have become so expensive expensive and luckily I did hold on to these things. I thought that they would become useful in the future and hopefully they will prove to be. I'm going to try to get these fitted up in there. They should be the perfect diameter and then I'm going to weld the outside here. My goal is to ultimately have one bolt on this side, one bolt on this side, obviously have the other pipe welded to it and then it will sit in the parts holder just like this and then I can flip it however I need to. It's been a while since I've busted the welder out so some of the consumer need to be switched out so I'm gonna get that done and hopefully this works out. My caliper holders are finished. I got the big ones done and the small ones finished. Everything worked out absolutely perfect. Now when I actually go to paint them, I can paint all of this underside right here. I can get to everything and then I can literally just one-handed, I'll probably use two hands, but I can take them, 
flip them over to this side, do this side, and then flip them right back when I want to do a second coat. It was a lot of extra work to make these things, but it's definitely going to make my life easier when I actually go to paint them. These tack welds are definitely not the prettiest, but they will definitely hold and do their job. Now that these are finished, the last thing that I need to do before I can actually paint them is I need to get the garage masked off, and then I also need to finish masking off where I cut to get the calipers out from where the car was masked. And then these things will be ready for one final cleaning and then a primer. Brimbos are fully prepped and ready to go. I added a different washer on the outside here so that it covered that area completely. It worked out really well for the big ones too because it's the perfect size to go all the way in there. And then I also taped off the little bars that I made. It's not like these things were in any special condition, but I'd rather not get overspray on them. Over here, I covered up the wheel well areas that I cut out. I had some leftover paper masking from when I taped off the wheels for paint. The two foot length there was the perfect distance to cover those holes up. I'm not going to be reusing the rotors, so I'm not worried about those. Up here is the 12 foot tape and drape. This stuff works perfect. It's quick and easy to put up. Sometimes the tape doesn't work really well, so I do add some of the rough surface tape. Over here, I've got all of my paint supplies ready to go. Here is the primer that I'll be using, hardener, and then reducer. For my base and clear, I'll be using this gun, but for the primer, I just use the Harbor Freight Purple Gun. I'm gonna give the calipers one final cleaning with some soap and water first, and then after they dry, I will hit them with some Prep All degreaser, and then I can lay down the primer.
this the next day. I let the primer dry overnight. Everything so far has come out great. I did have one little run. It's not really that noticeable, but right there you can kind of see where it's just a little thick around the edges. But aside from that, no problems with the rest of them. My rods here worked out perfect. I was able to flip these things back and forth, no problem. What helped out the most with these things is actually being able to lift them up and get all of those little nooks and crannies without having to touch the calipers. I know I've said it a bunch already, but super stoked on these things again. I am gonna sand that small heavy spot down right there, and then I will hit them all with the prep all again. After that, it will be time for the base coat. For the base coat, I know I haven't said what it is yet. I'm sure it's gonna be pictured in a thumbnail, but here it is. The color is Arancio Ishtar. I think that's how you say it. It is a factory Lamborghini color. Definitely the most expensive paint I have ever bought. It uses the same reducer that the primer does. It mixes one to one. I won't be using the purple gun for this one. I've got my spectrum gun over here. It works a little bit better and it feels just a little bit better. I strictly just keep the purple gun around for primer. I'm gonna get that one spot sanded down on the rear caliper and then I will get these things cleaned up again with the prep ball and then lay down the base coat. Base coat is on. I just finished cleaning up the gun. So far, everything has turned out really good with these calipers. Look at this color. I am so freaking stoked to get the clear coat on here. When I envisioned this color in my head, this is exactly how I wanted them to look. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get the clear coat on there today. I purchased some high temp Brembo decals to go back on these. I've mentioned in other videos, I'm not a professional painter. So from what I've found online, you're supposed to wait a pretty good while before applying decals over fresh base coat. Some people said you could do it in a few hours. There's other rules that say you should wait 72 hours. Seeing that everything has come out perfect so far, I definitely don't want to take any chances, so I am going to wait. I'm definitely not going to wait 72 hours. Most of the forums that I saw paint shops and body shops chiming in on, most of them said they spray fresh paint and they are able to apply any kind of vinyl the next day. I'm going to let this base coat harden up overnight and I will catch back up with you guys tomorrow, get these vinyl decals applied on there and then I will spray the clear coat. It has been a couple of days, almost 48 hours exactly since I laid down the base coat. They are all definitely completely dry now, so I'm hoping I will not have any issues with the decals. So as long as everything goes well with putting the Brembo decals on, then I can spray the clear coat. This is the clear coat that I'll be using. It's what I've pretty much used on everything else so far. It's this kick-ass clear made by Gentech. It's in the upper 70s today, so I am going with the medium max Activator. Clear is always the hardest to spray in my opinion. I always tend to get runs. However, after I added my light on the inside there, my wheels came out really good. I did not get very many runs at all. But I feel like I've gotten pretty used to spraying this stuff and then spraying it out of this gun. So far, the primer and base coat have came out absolutely perfect. So I'm hoping that the clear does the same.
next day. I finished spraying the clear yesterday and I let it dry overnight. After all the things I've painted for this car and all the mistakes that I've had, I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Let me turn the light on here so you can see it a little better. The decals went on absolutely perfect. The clear coat went on absolutely perfect. I had zero issues. I put three coats of clear. I had zero runs in any of the calipers. One thing that helped out tremendously and helped out with painting the wheels as well is getting this light up here. Having light everywhere in any direction is what helps out the most. I also added two of these. They're just magnetic and they mount right there. It really helps to illuminate this side. I feel like I've kind of gotten used to how that clear coat sprays, so it's a lot easier for me to not get runs. And then having this light definitely helps me see it actually being laid on. Super, super stoked with how all of this came out. Now that the calipers are fully painted, the last thing that I need to do is get all of the masking taken down from the garage, and then I need to get all of the calipers themselves unmasked. garage is unmasked and then I've got all of the Brembo calipers unmasked. Finally a paint job from start to finish with zero issues. Everything came out absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to get these things back on the car. I am going to end the video here. The next video will be me putting these back on the car. I've got some new rotors and pads coming in for them and then I will obviously have to bleed them as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please hit that like button. If you want to see these things go back on the car in the next video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time.